Hello you people from the internet, this is Zeminio4j and we have our donkey walking yesterday. So in today's video we, will, we are playing ahead from over here. Let's see. So we meet a new character. So our hero, where is he? Oh it's coming. Here we are dude, that guy over there is Bellerophon. Uh, be, 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 be. Something Belle. Let's call him Bella. Belle Rofon. So I let's meet him. I don't know how to thank you. Well, dude, give me this carrot fishing rod and we're even. With this, I can finally keep this damn donkey plodding along. Of course, it's all yours. Thanks, okay, dude. Okay, that Good fishing luck. rod is quite expensive. It's from other books. It has been made after a long work let's see what's ahead so we meet this guy let's talk to him good day good day stranger stranger so let's not be stranger then ask about golden bridle I know that you have a magical golden bridle bridle how do you know that only the goddess Athena and I know that well I heard it from a, from a wizard. wizard a wizard are you trying to make fun of me oh of course not I know this all sounds crazy, but... Get straight to the point, stranger. What do you want? I need your golden bridle. I'll return it post-haste. No way! Absolutely mm -hmm. not! Please, it's a matter of life and death. Life and death. Stop asking! I need it myself! I promised the people of this land that I'd kill the Chimera. And to do that, I need the bridle. I have a plan, but it would take too long to explain. The answer? is no damn it well then he is quite stubborn about this and he means he's not going to give it and what should we do okay let's ask uh, we have asked about the golden bridle let's ask about chimera miss impossible tell me about yeah. the chimera. remember chimera from there the chimera is a terrifying monster that spits fire from its mouth it has the head of a lion a goat's mm -hmm. head arising from its back and a tail tipped with a snake's head no one has Ooh. ever survived a close encounter with the monster, but I vowed to kill it, and I assure you that nothing ever stands in the way of Bellerophon. Judging from the description, it sounds like something from a science fiction movie. Yeah. Science what? Uh, never mind. It's a long story. Yeah. So everyone is skipping the story by saying it's a long story. Nice thing. We will use that in real life somewhere. Okay. Let's ask about the plan. You said you have a plan to kill the Chimera. Why do you need the Golden Bridle? Well, seeing as you know of the Golden Bridle, I have no reason to keep my plan secret. I thought it up together with the Goddess Athena. This is the plan. I climb Mount Olympus. I get inside the stables of Zeus. And I steal the divine Pegasus, the winged steed. And, riding Pegasus armed with a bronze spear, I kill the Chimera! Diving down on it from the sky! Whoa. Obviously, I need the Golden Bridle to tame Pegasus. Without it, this would all be impossible. Ah, well. Then, when you're done, you can give me the bridle. So, how long do you think this might take? Unfortunately, I'm stuck in the very first stage of the plan. Climbing Mount Olympus. Why are you stuck? It's completely impossible to climb this damn mountain. I've been trying for hours. I get up a ways, but then I get stuck. The mountain wall becomes practically vertical. There are no handholds. The only way to get up there would be to fly up. But for that, you'd need Pegasus. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. Okay, listen, stranger. You want my bridle, and I can't give it to you until after I steal Pegasus. Help me find a way to climb Olympus, and once I have defeated the Chimera, I'll give you the bridle. Agreed? Agreed. Yeah, agreed. Let's do it then. So we have so, to climb up. Um, what can I come up with? You can come up, always come up with Merlin. Uh, is there anything we can talk about? I don't know. I don't know. I have no I'm idea. I'm not going to climb it. I don't want to risk my neck. Yeah. It's too heavy. I could never. This stone won't be much helpful to climb such a huge mountain. So. Can he go back? No, he can't. Ok, 
I ask about Chimera, ask about the Golden Br Bridal, it's, it is of no use. I think... Okay, we can walk. It's too heavy. I could I cannot move. Do I have anything? I have a magic bag and the ma and the magic bell. So there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to climb it. Yeah. I don't want to. There's nothing climb. I can do. So we will have to meet Merlin for a hint, I guess. Let's check this for some hints. No, I'm totally clueless. Let's go to Merlin then. Here we go! Ring the bell! Yeah, Merlin is, Merlin is so friendly and so helpful. Everyone needs a Merlin in, in their life to guide them with things. Life would be so easy. Yeah. In today's world, it is kind of Google. He has answer for everything. Merlin, so good to see you. Ask for Merlin's I advice. Him and I asked him for the golden bridle. He'll only give me the bridle if I help him climb Mount Olympus. It's not easy to climb Mount Olympus, my dear Alfred. There's no way you can scale the mountain with your bare hands alone. Yeah, sure. You can but fly to its top. Yeah, but really? how do I fly? Is that what you just said? So are we going to Aladdin? Exactly. Story. We have to fly to the mountain. Around the world in eighty days. Look for Mr. Phileas Fogg and ask him to tell you how to build a hot air balloon. It will easily take you to the top of Mount Olympus. Are you sure this is a good idea? I am, Alfred. Trust me. Go now. Waste no time. Bear my words in mind. Sure, they will help you. Okay, I need to go, go to that Waste book. Waste no time. Oblivion is already on the move. You must stop. Let's go back then. Let's talk to that book. It's infected, I guess. Yeah, it was. Let's go to that, and it's downstairs. Around the world in 80 days. Where is that book? I can't find it. Let's go for the catalog then. Around the world in 80 days. Oh no. Oh. The black powder has spread to the book. I'm afraid of what might happen if I touch it. Well, we will have to go inside then. I'm afraid I'm too late. The wasteland all around me must be caused by oblivion. So... That shop looks like it's been abandoned. I doubt it might store anything interesting. Hmm. What is I'd this? I'd rather not touch it. Okay. I'd rather not touch it. I don't know what that strange substance could be. Mm hmm Fogg's house. This must be where Mr. Phileas Fogg lives. Okay, so let's Judging go to him. Judging from what the inscription says, it must be Mr. Phileas Fogg's house. Hello, how can I help you? Ask about Phileas Fogg, ask about the wasteland. Let's do this. What happened to the city? How did it turn into a wasteland? Wasteland? London's always been grey and gloomy. Ooh. It's no surprise to me. How weird. He looks like he's been hypnotized. Okay, ask about the black What's substance. That black substance all over the streets. Black substance? London's always been a very dirty city. It's no surprise to me. Okay, then ask about Phileas Are Fogg. You Mr. Phileas Fogg? I'm not. I'm Passepartout, Mr. Fogg's valet. Can I speak to Mr. Fogg? Valet. Mr. Fogg is not in the mood for talking. But it's really important. It's a matter of life and death. 
The Shafog is not in the mood for talking. Uh oh. How weird. He looks like he's been hypnotized. So what now then? That shop looks like it's been abandoned. I doubt it might store anything interesting. Do we have anything Touching else? That time would be pointless. Shop I'd window? Not no, it's I'm not touching that. We have do we have another option? Maybe something new option would come up. Hello, how can I help you? He's acting like he, he met us the first time. Uh, maybe this will work. Uh, uh, ask about Can I speak Fogg. to Mr. Fogg? Mr. Fogg is not in the mood for talking. I insist. I can't go back home. Not before speaking with Mr. Fogg. You are unbearably pushy. Okay, this, this Please, is new. Wait a second. Hopefully this... Yeah, we are meeting him. Finally. Order a balloon. Hot Hello. air balloon. How can I help you? Ask about his trip around the world. My name is Alfred Walsh. I'm so honored to meet you, Mr. Fogg. I'm standing before the man who circumnavigated the Earth in only 80 days. I've never embarked on that trip, Mr. Walsh. Are you serious? I've never circumnavigated the Earth. I wagered 20,000 pounds I would with my friends over at the Reform Club. But I've never even left London. Why on earth not? I don't know. Suddenly, I lost interest in Monero, traveling, and human progress. Hm? This must Whoa. be Oblivion's fault. Okay, so ask about his down the trip. Well, ask about his hot air balloon. Maybe he will give him. Whole world, but you're still Maybe he will give us. Means of transport. I lost interest in those two. I understand. Nevertheless, I need your help. Help me build a hot air balloon. Yeah. No, I'm not going to help you. What? I used to be selfless, but now I can't even remember what that means. Go away. I can't bear talking to you anymore. We are in trouble. How weird. He looks like he's been hypnotized. This must be Oblivion's fault. So, what Once next? Again, I think I need to ask Merlin for his wise insight. Okay, we'll have to go to Merlin. He said it himself. Let's do that then. is upstairs in King Arthur. Yeah. Not entering yeah, enter. Let's see. Welcome back, Alfred. How can, How can I, I help you? I, I seek your advice. Fog, but he's not willing to help. He's been acting weird. What do you mean? Is he pale, like a corpse? Does he look hypnotized? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sadly, we are too late. The tale is damaged for good. Oblivion okay. pushed the book to the point of do no return. Do we need return. to fight ob Oblivion now? We must find another way to reach the top of Mount another way. Let me think this over. Do you know the fairy tale of Jack? Jack mm -hmm. and the Beanstalk. Of course I do. When I was a child, it was my favorite one. Hey, wait a second. Are you trying to tell me to... Exactly. Read the book, Jack and the Beanstalk. Find Jack and ask him for some of his prodigious beans. You'll just have to plant them at the foot of Mount Olympus. A huge beanstalk will grow. It will be higher than the mountain itself. It should be easy for you to climb the beanstalk, just as Jack did to reach the house of the giant. Go now! Waste no time! Bear my words in mind. I'm sure they will help you. Okay, so I we need to find a new book, Jack and the Beanstalk. Go now! Waste no time! 
Oblivion is already on the move. You must stop him before it's too late. Okay. Oof. Okay, we are here. Now, let's go to the catalog and find the new book. It's named Jack and the Beanstalk. J. Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah. This one. Okay, it's over here. Let's enter that book. Double click. Mm hmm. So we are inside this book. It's the Beanstalk. Well, before let's... climbing up and okay. risking my neck, I'd better make sure that Jack is not around here somewhere. Okay. So what else we have over here? The house. Let's check it out. Uh, hello. My name's Alfred. I'm looking for a boy. His name is Jack. My son is named Jack. Why are you looking for him? Did he pull another prank? Oh no, not at all. Take it easy. I'm looking for him because I need his help. I'm sorry, Jack is not at home. I don't know where that brat is. I only hope he didn't climb that abnormal tree that grew up over there, near the fence. If he doesn't quit pulling all these pranks, the brat will kill me from heartbreak. Don't worry. I'm sure he's playing around here somewhere. I'm going to look for him somewhere around here. Thank you. I have a bad feeling that Jack is not playing around here somewhere. I think he climbed that giant beanstalk. Okay, we need to now climb this beanstalk. And... Okay, chin up, Alfred. We will have to face that giant, I guess. Hopefully not too much action. Whoa, he climbs funny. Mm -hmm. So, we are over here. Uh, we'll have to go inside this house. Let's okay. do it. Chin up, Alfred. We are here. Now what? Ball of wool. Uh oh. What was that? Maybe a giant cat. Giant cat. Oh my what god. Next? A gigantic cat. After surviving I don't a tiger, have a stick. I wouldn't want to end up getting eaten by a cat. Stay cool, kitty. Mm -hmm. Hey, you! Okay, his... Come in here quick! Okay, he's inside. We now Who meet. Who are you? How did you get up here? My name's Alfred. I got up here by climbing a gigantic beanstalk. Just out of curiosity, are you Jack? Yes, he is. Yeah, hey, I'm Jack. Oh, thank you, God. If my mother sent you after me, you can bet your britches I'm not going back home. No, no, don't worry. I was looking for you because I need your help. Shoot. I need some of your magic beans. I need them to get up to a very high place. Hmm. I could give you some. But only if you help me with something first. Why is no one willing to make an altruistic gesture without asking for something in return? Yeah. In my case, because I'm a child. All right, forgive Justified. me. Justified. How can I help you? Let me explain. I've been casing this house for days. I've studied the logistics carefully. A giant lives inside this house. A rich giant. A very rich one. Mm -hmm. And you know why he's so rich? I can guess. It sounds like a fairy tale I used to listen to when I was a child. He's so rich, because he has a goose that lays golden eggs. I saw it with my own eyes. Okay, Jack. Let's be frank. If you're asking me to help you steal that goose, then the answer is no. Don't be ridiculous, man. The goose is gigantic, just like that cat out there. We can't carry a gigantic goose. On the other hand, we can carry the golden eggs. I saw where the giant keeps them. Jack, trust me, I know the story. I know how this ends. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. 
the giant will smell our blood and he'll start saying fee fi fo fum something and he'll chase us and don't be ridiculous man i told you already i cased the joint the giant and his wife are not home they won't be back until tonight we have plenty of time we only have to get rid of that damn cat jack no if you won't help me i'm not giving you the beans all right where do we start Let's start by getting rid of that damn cat. Think of a way to get it away from the door. Okay, now how to get rid of the cat? I think we will have to bring something. How to get rid of the cat? Let's go to Merlin, maybe he will help. Always a good guide. Oh, do we have some spices from other story? Maybe throwing tomato from Popol Vuh. We have sticks, but sticks will be quite small in front of that gigantic cat. Let's talk to Merlin, maybe he will help us. Let's do it. Can I help you? Tell me how to defeat a gigantic cat. I found Jack. He'll only give me some of his beans if I help him steal the golden eggs. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have, we a, have a problem. A gigantic cat prevents us from entering the house of the giant. I suggest you get some substance that will keep it away. And mm. it's well known that cats hate certain flavors or odors so much that they will run away. A substance that will keep it away. But what? I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. Go now, waste no time. Bear my words in mind. I'm sure they will help you. So Merlin knows, but he won't tell us. I have no further questions for you. I'll get back to my mission. So, go what? now, waste Can no we time. Bring the wine is already on the move. You must stop him before it's too late. A knife? No. Yeah, we were talking about some order. Order, smell in Sisyphus and Belor, Belro, Belerophon. Yeah, Sisyphus and Belerophon. We have nothing in our inventory. In Popple for we have tomatoes. In Gilgamesh, we can get spice. Says maybe we can have spices. Let's let's try that. And in Pantagrel, we have wine. Okay, we can't go back to kitchen, so we are out of spices. So this story is out of joint. Skeletal forearm, dagger, need smell. The cup is empty. The cup is empty, so let's go back. We need something smelling. Let's go over here. Gargantua. Okay. And I'd better not open it. I'd like to avoid spilling the wine on the ground. Okay. We don't have the bottle. Where is the bottle? Okay, the wa wine bottle is with Papan, so we can't get wine. The bucket work. That wouldn't be very wise of me. Okay. Flour mill, we don't have anything. Anything of here, we can't use it. So, what more story we have? Okay, we only have a uh, popple war remaining in there. 
Hopefully tomatoes will work. Not sure, but let's see. We climb the stairs and purple bow, purple bow. Yeah, so over here we get inside this book. Papan! I don't need to speak with Papan. Uh oh. Anymore. So we are not friends anymore. I don't need to talk with him again. Okay. Nah, I've rubbed shoulders with the rich and famous, and they ain't really all that in person. Mm hmm. So let's get back then to vegetable market. So. Mayan woman, do you have something for me? Uh, ask to borrow the grater. No, we don't need that. Let's quit. Maybe this lady has some spices for us. Ask for the immortal twins. Ask. This question is new, I guess. Let's let's do that. I'd like to buy something. Something? What exactly? Hmm, I don't know. What are you selling? Apart from tomatoes, <sighs> I have so many things. Vegetables, potatoes, corn, peppers, zucchini. I also have a rare chili pepper that comes directly from the Valley of Death. Ooh. It's the hottest chili on Earth. It's no coincidence that it grows only in the Valley of Death. Here, let me show you. This is the I only one I think this left. will work. It costs a lot, but it is well worth it. Is it really all that hot? That hot? Hey man, this chili is hotter than the flames of hell. And you must be careful not to use too much. Many have overdosed and died. Perfect. I'll take it. Hopefully that kitty won't die as it's minutes. huge. Unfortunately, uh -oh, I have we no need money. money. Can I give you something in its place? That might be doable, but you uh, have to offer something of equal value. Okay, I'll think about it. So we need to give her something now. I can't give her the magic bell. I can't give her a magic bag. Medallion is worthless. She sells vegetable. Maybe she will take. Let's try. Tomatoes. Would you give me your chili peppers from the Valley of Death in exchange for these? Tomatoes. How did you come by them? Tomatoes are virtually impossible. Okay, to this find. is working. They are worth so we have our deal. Of course, I'll do the sealed. deal. Sealed. Those tomatoes are worth at least twice as much as my chili peppers. Mm -hmm. Very good. Here are your chili peppers. And be careful, they are hellish. Use in moderation. Thank you. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. So, what do we do now? Do we grate chili pepper with grater and throw the dust at Kitty? I don't know. Maybe the smell will work directly. Let's take it into the magic bag and go to Jack and the Beanstalk. Mm -hmm. Auto saving. Let's get down the staircase. That's that book, Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah. Let's double click to enter quick. We are in. No, does he has has okay asking about some give you some beans. Let's Jack, ask him first. Please give me some of your magic beans. I desperately need them. It's a matter of life and death. I already told you that you only get them if you help me steal the golden eggs. Mm -hmm. And I already told you that it's too dangerous. It can only end bad. Calm down, man. I told you already. I cased the joint. The giant and his wife are not home. They won't be back until tonight. We have plenty of time. You won't make me change my mind. Damn it. Okay, ask him about the beans. Jack, tell me about your magic beans. How did you come by them? A few days ago, my mother sent me to the village to sell our cow. There, I met a strange merchant who offered me a bunch of colorful beans in exchange for the cow. 
assuring me that they were magical. I trusted him, and I was right to do so, because they were truly magical. Unfortunately, my mother got mad when I showed her the beans. She snatched some of them out of my hand and threw them out the window. The beans ended up near the fence, and the next day, after a rainy night, I found the gigantic beanstalk that you also climbed to get up here. I was sure the beans were magical. And what did your mom have to say about that? My mother got mad again, and she forbade me from climbing the beanstalk. Yeah, that was a risky deal. Well, duh. Mm -hmm. So, ask about the golden eggs. Yes, tell me about the golden eggs. The giant that lives in this house has a goose that lays golden eggs. He got filthy rich because of that goose. Unfortunately, I can't steal it for two main reasons. The first is that the giant keeps it locked in a room and carries the key with him at all times. The second is that the goose is gigantic, like everything else inside his house. But I can at least steal the golden eggs. I know where the giant keeps them. He keeps them inside a chest on the living room table. We simply have to get inside the house before the giant comes back. And to do that, we have to get rid of that damn cat. Don't you realize we'll be risking our lives? Ah, oh, you're too pessimistic. Be optimistic. Always look on the bright side of life. I prefer to quote Oscar Wilde. The basis of optimism is sheer terror. So we have okay, nothing Jack, else, so we need to try Let's get back that to our mission. chili pepper the golden eggs. on that can. Do we have it? Yes, let's bring it out first. So let's go out. Yeah, it's standing over here. Uh, chili. Take it, cat. Don't eat that hey, hole. Kitty. Oh. So it's wow. away then. You did it. You're the man, dude. Just look at that damn cat run. Okay, now we are going Before inside we that house. Let's get in there. No, wait, Jack. It could be dangerous. Damn it. So, we should take that chili. Yeah. He's taking it. Maybe it will be it will come handy later. And this ball of I wool. can't pick up the entire ball. It wouldn't fit in my pockets. Okay. So do we need to cut it? Let's keep that in mind. Let's go inside. What's inside? Oh no, there's a chest. That means Jack, puzzle. I helped you get rid of the cat. How about giving me some of your magic beans? Hey, dude, that was not the deal. You must help me steal the golden eggs, and then you can have some magic beans. All right. Where are the golden eggs? They're inside that chest. Mm -hmm. So. All right. I'll help you. I'll have to come up with something brilliant to get me up on that table. Yeah, sure. So let's explore this room. What is this log I of wood? I can't pick it up. It would be too big for okay, my pocket. Okay, too big for your pocket. Let's move over. Move ahead. I can't reach it from here. So we need to make a grapple. Uh, the rope we had, we gave it to that. Uh, gave it for that fishing rod made for donkey. Here's I a fishing it rod. It would be too big for my pockets. A too big fishing rod. I'd big rather boots. not touch them. What do we do now? Fishing hook. Yes. The hook is too well tied on. I can't untie the knot. Untie the knot. So we will have to cut it. So we will need the dagger, I guess. The dagger was in uh, Gilgamesh. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to bring that. Mm, so, let's do it the next day. Hope you enjoyed the game. This episode was amazing. Now we are stuck with this chest. And I'm pretty sure that it has some key hidden somewhere. Or we need to explore. The giants will come. Or maybe it's 
it's it's uh, uh, puzzle locked means i will have to solve some kind of puzzle maybe let's see i don't see anything else uh, i have a hint that we'll have to bring we'll have to bring the dagger to do something or maybe we we'll use the dagger to climb over here let's do it the next day check back tomorrow bye bye